Hi guys! So the other day on Instagram and YouTube I asked you guys to ask me some questions because I wanted to do another Q&A because the last time I did a Q&A it was when I just hit a thousand subscribers and I just hit four thousand subscribers which is like I, I literally, it's, it's insane, I cannot believe it, so I felt like doing another Q&A because it's been a while since I did one, um, and I got quite a lot of questions, so I'm not sure if I'm going to be able to answer everyone's questions, but I'm going to see how I go and try and answer as many as I can. I have a hair stuck to my lip. I might actually split this video up into an Instagram Q&A and a YouTube Q&A because I have so many questions. So I'm going to try and work through them quite quickly and I'm going to go to Instagram first. So the first question is from x underscore Shona underscore Clancy underscore x and she said how long does it take to edit your YouTube videos? And this kind of depends, it can take between, like if I'm editing a nail video because they're not as long as the others, well they take me a long time to film but they're quite easy to edit because I know like which bits to cut out. Um, um, they take, I don't know, about an hour, and then longer videos can literally take me like five, six hours, like if it's a makeup tutorial or something, or if it's a particularly like exciting video. It can take quite a few hours, especially because my editing program always crashes and it doesn't let me save stuff a lot of the time and I end up losing like half of what I edited so it gets really annoying so yeah Kaylee Elizabeth hi Kaylee <laughs> she's one of my YouTube friends she asked are you planning on doing a boyfriend tag with your boyfriend and what do you want to do as a job when you're an adult so to answer the first question I want to do a boyfriend tag and loads of people have been asking me to do one but my boyfriend is extremely camera shy but I can barely get him in a photo with me so I don't think at the moment he wants to be on YouTube so I probably will do one in the future he said if I get to 10,000 subscribers he might do a video with me but we'll see and to answer what do, what do you want to do as a job when you're an adult I'm not really sure at the moment I'd like to do something which kind of involves like I'd like to do something in the beauty industry I did think for a long time that I wanted to be a makeup artist but uh, in the UK like the pay is really low so I don't really know at the moment, I, I want to do kind of like something arty or something in the beauty field. Zoe with two E's underscore CK, what was your most embarrassing moment? I was thinking about this and I've had so many embarrassing moments but I just can never remember them all. It's like, it's as if my brain kind of like blocks out all the bad memories and like the embarrassing stories and stuff because I have had quite a few embarrassing stories but I just can't remember a lot of them but one that I do remember is when I was in Iceland um, on a school trip last summer, this isn't that embarrassing but it was quite funny, um, there was this goat which I can't remember what it was called but we were staying on a farm and there was some goat that was like super exciting and I think he was supposed to like talk or something? There was something special about this goat and so I like, my friends were like oh we're going out to see the goat so I like went to put on my boots and I just shoved them on my feet, didn't do up my laces ran outside and literally like threw my arms in the air like yeah let's go see the goat and my I, I like tripped over my laces because I trod on one of my laces so I was like this and I literally just like completely face planted into the ground and then I couldn't really walk for the rest of the trip and it was quite embarrassing but it was very painful but quite funny but yeah, that's not really that embarrassing. Nail Artitude says, when did you begin nail art? I started doing nail art just after my GCSEs, so that was like two years ago, I think. Because during GCSEs, I bit off all my nails and they were disgusting and horrible. And I'll try and insert a picture now. But then after GCSEs, I was like, okay, I need to do something about this. I need to stop biting my nails because they just look gross and so I started painting them and then when I saw that they looked nicer when they were painted I started like doing more nail art and then it made me not want to bite them and then I just kind of continued doing nail art from then. Kate Mackey 2003 says what was your worst makeup or hair disaster? My worst, I can't really think of any like makeup disasters, I used to wear like really really orange foundation when I was about 12 and I first got into foundation I just bought the like first foundation I found in Asda and it was literally like bright orange and one of my friends used to call me Sainsbury's plastic bag so shout out to Saver, thanks for that <laughs> um, but my worst hair disaster was definitely when I used this stuff called Sunin 
where you like spray it in your hair and it's supposed to lighten your hair but I do not recommend this to anyone because my hair literally went like banana yellow and I came into school and everyone was like oh my god you look like a banana and yeah so my hair was like banana yellow for quite a while and um, it's permanent so <laughs> That wasn't, that was a pretty bad hair disaster and I'll try and insert some pictures of that here. Andrea underscore Ashburn says, how long does it take to paint your nails and are you left handed or right handed? Um, it normally takes me between like 40 minutes if I'm doing something like super quick. 40 minutes is probably the minimum time it takes to do my nails and it can take up to like 3 hours if I'm doing like a really complicated design and I am right handed. X underscore Lydia underscore Davy underscore X says, have you always been really good at nail art? And no, I haven't. Like I said, I only really got into it after GCSEs and then I just practiced and practiced and practiced and practiced and now I'm the level that I am now. Angarad.Hughes says, what are you, what videos are you planning on making? Um, not too sure about this question. I just kind of like make videos as I get inspiration. Um, I am planning on doing like the five minute makeup challenge and the no mirror makeup challenge. Um, I'd like to do a video trying Japanese candy with my brother because I think that would be quite cool. And obviously I'm going to do like more nail art and stuff. I quite like to do like a Disney series of nail art videos so let me know if you guys would be interested in that. Underscore V Ball Queen underscore says have you always been really good at nail art? I answered that a second ago. It underscore is underscore Zuza says what's your favourite nail art? Um, my favourite nail art is kind of like anything really girly with glitter. Ombre nails are quite like, sunset nails I really like. Um, nails by Simone X asks, what's your favourite nail polish brand and why, thanks. I'm not really sure. I really really like Model Zone just because they have such a lovely colour selection and they're really good quality and they're only £5 each. I also really like China Glaze because I really like their colours as well. I really like OPI. Nails Ink is probably one of my favourites. I think their nail varnishes are really really good quality. Um, but yeah, I don't really have like a single favourite. Amy Lee underscore underscore says, would you collab with new YouTubers? If so, who would you like to work with? Um, yeah, I would collab with new YouTubers. I've collabed with quite a few new YouTubers because obviously I'm a new YouTuber myself. Um, I don't know. I don't really know who I'd like to work with. I don't know. If you're interested in collabing, just like send me a message. Alice underscore Stevens 13 says, what's your favourite type of nail art? I already answered that one before. L underscore M underscore one underscore two says, who are your favourite bands and singers? Love you, by the way. Your vids are amazing. Thank you very much. Uh, my favourite singer is Taylor Swift. Absolutely love Taylor Swift. I also really like Ariana Grande. I really like Avril Lavigne. Um, but then my favourite bands are like completely different. My favourite two bands are Hollywood Undead and My Chemical Romance, which are kind of, I don't know, people might be a bit surprised by that, but they are my favourite bands. Mint underscore Melinda says, Harry Potter or Twilight? Um, I'm going to go with Harry Potter. Favourite song? My favourite song at the moment is, um, I think it's called I Can't Feel My Face by The Weeknd. I also really like, uh, I think it's called Party by Beyonce, I've been listening to that quite a lot. And favourite TV show, that is definitely Pretty Little Liars. It's.b.e.t.h, so like it's Beth, says, If you had to be handcuffed to one celebrity for the rest of your life, who would you choose? I love you so much. Thank you, I love you too. Um, I would definitely choose Taylor Swift, because like I said before, she's my favourite singer, and I just think we would be great friends. Minas um, says, Do you like Ariana Grande? Yes, I do. I love Ariana Grande. She's one of my favourite singers. And at what age did you start to wear makeup? Um, I started to wear makeup when I was about, I think when I was about 11, I started wearing pressed powder because my face was super oily. So I started wearing pressed powder and I used to wear a tiny little bit of mascara as well. Um, and she was says, how tall are you? I'm five foot two, which is super small. A bit. Abitha96 says summer or winter? Winter, because Christmas is in winter. And I just love wearing like dark lipstick, dark nails. I love wearing big cozy jumpers. And I just love how like cozy it is in winter. And I really like winter fashion, so winter. She also said, she asked me quite a few questions, but I don't have time to answer all of them. Um, but she said, also said, who is your favorite YouTuber? My favorite YouTuber at the moment is Emily Canham, and I love watching her and her boyfriend, Jake. I love watching their vlogs, actually. Like, I watch their vlogs every day, and I just find them so entertaining. I literally cannot believe that Emily is the same age as me, because she's so gorgeous, and she has such an amazing life, and I would love to meet her one day. Um, I think that would be amazing. 
Uh, photo and fashion 12 says, do you have a boyfriend? And yes, I do have a boyfriend. Carly dot underscore says, how many nail polishes do you have? Kisses. Um, oh my gosh, I'm not really sure to be honest. I probably have about 200. Uh, yeah, I've got quite a lot. <laughs> Shannon555 asked me like four questions, but I've answered a few of them before. Um, she also says, how many siblings do you have? I have one brother. Nails underscore and underscore stuff 13121 says, what's your favourite nail design you did? Um, probably my Jack Skellington nails that I did for Halloween or some of my Christmas nails, like the little um, snowman where you go like this and it's got the little snowman and the little Santa and also like the gingerbread Christmas ones. I liked a lot of my Christmas designs. Leia31 says, what did or do you study for A-levels? I just finished my A-levels and for AS I did geography, psychology, art and biology and then for A-levels I dropped biology so I just did psychology, geography and art. She also says, how did you and your boyfriend meet? Um, we actually met, the first time we spoke was online and we both knew this one guy who we both talked to and I used to do like, I used to game quite a lot, I used to play like video games and stuff, I know, might not be so expected of me but I did. Um, so I used to talk to this guy who one of my friends knew and then this guy that I was talking to was best friends with my boyfriend and so like one time we were all talking on Skype in like a group chat and then he added uh, my boyfriend now, obviously he wasn't my boyfriend at the time and then we started talking and we realised that like we had quite a lot in common and then we started talking on a regular basis and then when we all met up in person after a couple of months he asked me out and we've been together ever since Chaz ba Balum C says what made you start making videos basically I'd done my nail art on Instagram and I really wanted to also share my passion for beauty because my Instagram didn't really get to see that, like, I didn't really get to share that side of myself on my Instagram because it was just for nails, but I'm also, like, majorly interested in beauty, so I wanted somewhere where I could kind of, like, put both of those things, so my channel is kind of, like, beauty, fashion, and nails. And who is your YouTube inspiration? Um, so, like I said before, my YouTube inspiration is Emily Canham. I seriously, like, I'm actually obsessed with her. She's just amazing. This girl, Morgan, says this isn't so much a Q&A as a video request, but but would you do a vid on your funniest makeup disasters? Um, I don't really have that many funny makeup disasters, but I can definitely do a video about like my worst kind of like hair disasters, fashion disasters with makeup disasters included. I think that would be kind of funny. Hey Cute Nails says, where do you get inspiration for your nails? I get a lot of my inspiration online from like other nail artists. Obviously like I give them credit <laughs> um, when I like copy their designs or sometimes I get inspiration from like seasonal things. So like during the Christmas time, I kind of like can think up things that are related to Christmas and put them on my nails or I get inspiration from like uh, kind of like TV programs or films and stuff like that. Ellie underscore boo underscore x says what is your favourite thing about YouTube and what is your earliest childhood memory? My favourite thing about YouTube is probably just like being able to talk to so many different people from all over the world. I just think it's so cool like reading all your guys comments and being able to like interact with so many people and kind of like see people's feedback on my videos just makes me really happy. Also obviously I love watching people's videos on YouTube, I just think it's a really cool like creative space. And my earliest childhood memory is probably when I think I was about two and me and my brother were watching Pingu and we were running around the room going Pingu, Pingu, Pingu and then I tripped over and like smashed my face into the ground and I just remember crying on my mum's lap and that is my earliest childhood memory. Also another childhood memory when I was on the way to the dentist for the first time in my life. I had my hands in my pockets and I tripped over my brother's foot and I smashed my front teeth and my lip and I was like bleeding everywhere and I didn't even let the dentist see me because I was too upset and crying. So that was great. <laughs> my nails have polish says what is your favourite nail polish brand? I answered that before. And finally for Instagram, Molly underscore Hogan's 48 says, what's your most special childhood memory? Um, I can't really think of a special childhood memory, I just remember falling over quite a lot. I would say some of my favourite like childhood memories are probably going to centre parks with some of our family friends. I just remember we always had such a good time and yeah, really enjoyed that. Okay, so that is all the questions that I got asked on Instagram, so I'm going to go on to my 
YouTube video. So that is all of the questions and I, I think I answered everyone's question and if I didn't answer your question it's because it was a repeat or I had too many questions to answer but I tried to make sure that if you did ask, ask me a question um, or if you asked me a few questions I made sure that I answered one of your questions. I'm really sorry if I didn't manage to answer your question but I tried my best and I'm not sure how I'm going to cut down this video because it's going to be so long so I might split it into two parts but we shall see when I'm editing it. So I hope you guys have enjoyed this Q&A and I hope you guys have like found out a bit more about myself um, and by the way my hair is fading I'm probably going to try and wash it all out and then I might do some pink or something like that. So if you have enjoyed this video please give it a thumbs up please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you guys in my next video bye how to get this kind of Kylie Jenner inspired makeup look and I hope